Hi, I'm Dr. Zorowski. And I'm Ashley. And in this video, we are going to do DIY natural shampoo. You know, I always tell you that it is so important to make sure that you're mitigating chemical exposure as much as possible. And one of the great ways to do this is in your beauty products. It's estimated that you come into contact with over 160 different chemicals on average in your beauty products alone. So when we look at these different beauty products out there, many of them contain fragrances, they contain sulfates, they contain betaine, they contain so many different chemicals that are endocrine disrupting, you know, they're disrupting normal function of your body. There, there's, you know, these toxins are storing deep into your nervous system tissue and into your body and causing all kinds of disturbances. They can create immune imbalances and so much more. Anyway, it's very important to make sure that we're avoiding these chemical exposures. So what do we need to know about this shampoo? The reason I like this shampoo is because you can customize it according to your hair and what you need and what you like. Um, as you mentioned, there's not going to be any sulfates in there. Um, sulfate's very um, harsh for your hair as well as being an endocrine disruptor and causing cancer and things like that. So um, you can make this with no added tools or anything, simple ingredients that you can either find at your local grocery store or you can order online and you can make like several batches of shampoo for um, a quarter of the cost that you would um, buy a natural shampoo for in the store. Great. So what are the ingredients that we have here? This is Dr. Bronner's cast aisle soap. The one that I am going to be using today is almond. I really like the scent of almond, but the again, the benefit of making this shampoo is you can get unscented and customize it to what you would like. You can get unscented cast aisle soap and you can add lavender if you like lavender. You could add tea tree if you're trying, if you have uh, some dry scalp. Um, you can add pine if you like the scent of pine, um, especially maybe in the winter time, things like that. So you can add um, about 10 or 20 drops of essential oil to your shampoo and you can customize it however you'd like, but today, for simplicity purposes, I'm using almond. The second ingredient is aloe vera. I like the uh, Fruit of the Earth brand. It's 100% aloe vera gel. This is vegetable glycerin, and the last ingredient is jojoba oil. You can use this. This is what I use to make my shampoo if this is unavailable to you. You can certainly substitute olive oil or grapeseed oil in this recipe. Great. So. Um, you're going to take all of these and put it into the bottle. Yep, and so then uh, obviously you're going to need a bottle or a jar. You can either use a pump dispenser or um, I just have a pop top um, empty shampoo bottle. Great, let's get it started. Okay, to make your own shampoo, you'll start by adding a half a cup of water. I am going to use a funnel to make it a little less messy. Next, you'll add a half cup of cast aisle soap. You'll add one tablespoon of jojoba oil and two tablespoons of vegetable glycerin. Aloe vera is extremely messy to try to measure in and then pour into the bottle. So I just squirt it directly into the bottle and I have my bottle pre-marked for this purpose. Now you can put on your top and shake it together for about 10 to 15 seconds. So that's how I make my shampoo for my hair. Now I have very dry hair, so that's why I add ingredients like aloe vera and vegetable glycerin. If you do not have dry hair, you can certainly avoid adding these two. And a basic shampoo recipe would simply be cast aisle soap, water, and the jojoba oil. So feel free to add essential oils to this or to change up the scent of the cast aisle soap according to what you enjoy. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this DIY natural shampoo video. Be sure to check it out and use it. This is very simple to make, so be sure to utilize this information. And be sure to also check out our other DIY beauty videos that we have done if you like this one. Give the video a thumbs up, post any comments that you have in the comments section below, and until next time folks, make it a great day. Bye.